Hi, I'm Henle. I'm the founder of Henle Coffee and we're at the establishment that's busy running our first coffee machine. So I found a big gap in the market in South Africa specifically towards the speciality end. We really wanted to address continuously putting out exceptional coffee. People don't really come back to a coffee shop for better tasting coffee. It's all about consistency. You, when you first time and you walk into a coffee shop and you drink a coffee, you immediately associate that flavor with that brand and that establishment. And when people come back to you, it's because they're searching for that same experience. And we realized currently on the market in South Africa, there were no tools for the coffee shop owners or even franchise owners to see objective data about how their coffee is doing. We wanted to give them the tools to empower them to create more consistent coffee, to be objective about the performance of the baristas. And that drove me from a top-down level to start creating these machines. So we really had to think hard about where our product would fit and designed one product that encompasses all the technology required to make an absolutely brand new software-driven platform um, that allows our machine not only to be a coffee machine but a business solution. So the 4D systems played really well into our idea of building machines that last. By creating an ecosystem that's software driven, we also needed a way to keep our user experience on the machine fresh. And that's where the touchscreens really shine. So all the buttons you use to engage with the machine, all the technology on the inside, you can package that in a brand new way as you learn more things for the machine running in its first shop. Maybe after five shops, there's still a little button size issue or a feature that's missing. And the screens really enables us to quickly push that updates and give the clients a brand new experience. The 4D systems touchscreens really make it possible for us to have an extended upskill for our machines in the years to come. So we've got all of our 4D system touchscreens here. We've got the square ones with the glass bezel and then the round ones with the glass bezel. And all of them we were able to insulate really well with gasket maker on the inside, which makes them fully waterproof. The shape and the feel of the coffee machine was conveyed really well with uh, the glass bezels. 4D systems was quite an obvious choice for us for two main reasons. Um, the one was how pre-packaged their, their product is. Just insulate that from the back, you've got a completely waterproof device that's industrial and, and could be able to withstand prolonged use under heavy duty conditions. And the other thing was how easily accessible it is in today's climate to acquire when we need to replace. So fortunately for us, we already on our own ran through the, the product lineup quite quickly and we identified which were the ones that were the right size and the right form to fit where we wanted to use them in our system. So the final outcome of the product was generally as good as we could have expected it to be. Mechanically we were sound from day one, hydraulically we were sound from day one, a few minor electronic things that we had to sort out but that is always just a bit, bit of back and forth and a software update and then they're there as well. So we really had some good interaction with uh, the 4D team in general and 4D systems really stepped in with the product to be able to give us those glass bezels that really makes it much more of a refined product than you could ever do as a startup. For all the technology we employ, we knew we are creating more technology on the inside that you could possibly fully understand just using a couple of buttons. And also things like training the barista when you drop a machine in the middle of nowhere using the 4D touchscreens is now something you could viably do and showing people press here and this is going to happen now and give them a lot more feedback on the initial setup. Yeah, so the future for Henlo is looking to expand really rapidly in a manufacturing sense where we want to focus on local international manufacturing where you no longer have one massive factory pumping out machines but you try and be as agile as possible today and in the future. So the big idea surrounding that is working with people that really believe in your vision and who are able to assist in a meaningful way. Um, so for Inlo, it's about creating relationships that would promote a platform for future machines and supply chains.